I'm at the highest point in BC and I have the selfie stick that reaches up into the atmosphere. This is my final test to show you just in fact that the earth is truly round. No more jokes now, guys. What's it like up there? The air is so thin, way out there. <laughs> this is the ocean, and this is the ground, and this is the air above the ground. Since the ground gets a lot hotter than the ocean, it actually heats up the air above it. And since hot air rises, which causes low pressure, it actually forces the air above the ocean to move over above the ground. This is what causes a sea breeze. When you blow out a flame, it's the fast-moving air that cools it off so fast that it extinguishes. But try this. Get a plastic water bottle. Cut the tail off. Get a plastic bag. Hold your plastic sheet on the back of the bottle with a rubber band. We can compress the air in the bottle so that it comes out the nozzle fast enough to extinguish the flame. It cools the candle off like that. Three, two, one. It's fun to see how far away you can get. Oh, yeah. Catch the smoke. And then if you're really careful, you can see smoke rings. So there you can see that the ring is swirling as well as going sideways. Oh, that is science, people. So we all know what happens when you take dry ice and you put it in water, right? You get that kind of fog effect. People use it for Halloween and a bunch of different things. But what happens if you take soap and you mix it in with the water and then you put dry ice? We're gonna see what happens right now. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some soap in with the water and you're going to mix it up, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dry ice and we're gonna put it inside. So here we go. There it is. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna see this bubble come up, right? And it's gonna have all this kind of fog in it. And that's all gonna be basically the same effect that's happening, but all of that fog, all of that smoke is kind of getting caught in the bubbles and it's gonna create this really cool effect, right? You can see it billowing out. Now what we're gonna do is see if we can fill up this balloon. So we're gonna close the top of this. I'm kidding. Greetings, Bill Nye here with more on masks. Here's a map of the United States. The red ink shows where people are wearing masks. The black ink shows where people are getting sick with coronavirus. I hope you can see the fewer the masks, the more the sick. And there's a perception that a virus can travel through the fibers of a mask like this red dot. Because viruses don't travel by themselves. No, they travel in little droplets of spit and snot. And the fibers are a tangle. So when the droplet gets into the fibers of a mask, it gets trapped. This is not that hard to understand, everybody. That's why we have rules about wearing a mask. Now you know about rules. You pay taxes on the whole road, but you only get to drive on one side at a time. Otherwise, <laughs> so everyone, please wear a mask. Thank you. Oh, you can hear me fine, right through the mask. This is a one gallon jug, and you can actually see that gravity is pulling the water out of the jug, and it's coming down towards the ground. But what happens when I drop this jug from a ladder behind me? Let's test it. In three, two, one. So you can see that the water actually stops flowing the minute I let it go out of my hand. And this is because gravity is actually pulling the water bottle and the water inside of it at the same time. So the water is not being pulled out of the bottle because they're both being pulled down together. Follow for more. This is a map of the continents of the Earth showing how much ultraviolet light lands in each latitude. It turns out the closer you are to the equator, the more intense the ultraviolet. We use reds and purples. But then as you move away from the equator, we change the colors to orange, yellow, greens, and grays. Now here's the same map of the same continent with just one color. And it turns out that everybody on Earth is descended from people that live here in Africa. And then as groups of us move around the world, the color of our skin had to change. And here's why. Our skin is where we make vitamin D. If you don't get enough ultraviolet, you don't get enough vitamin D. But if you get too much ultraviolet, then you break down your folates. You have to have it in perfect balance. And because the ultraviolet varies, the color of our skin varies. And that's it, everybody. That's why we have different colored skin. But we're all one species. But we're not treating each other fairly. Not everybody's getting an even shake. So it's time to change things. Don't do this. This is boring. You can see how the water goes up because of the partial vacuum that is created. 
Do it with alcohol. Just put a little bit of alcohol in the bottle. Look at the difference alcohol makes. If you guys see this video on your For You page, please let me know and follow me to see crazy experiments. Soap is an amazing substance. Each soap molecule is like a string, with one end that sticks to water and the other end that sticks to oil or fat. So take a look at this. This string floating on water represents a coronavirus molecule. Watch what happens when we touch the surface of the water with this bar of soap. Three, two, one. The molecule falls apart. That's why you've got to wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Woo! Take that, virus molecule. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. It is really hot. So we're actually gonna do a supersized version, but we're gonna drop something into the sodium acetate, not my hand. Holy No! No! Dude, why do we keep this clear? Let's just keep it together. Just like new. <laughs> Three. Really cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh man. That's really good. Wow, it really is hot. Very hot. Walk, go. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. <laughs> What's the problem when I get in What's the post up? Off his own there, man. It's probably Phil. It's got floaties in it. That's good, boy. That not be one more. Oh! Energy spreads out. Things tend to become more jumbled up. That's entropy. But what's going on here? The beads are organizing themselves. It's as though they're communicating. Let's all get together up here and let's all get together down there. It's order out of disorder. This is a violation of the second law of thermodynamics. Entropy is being overcome naturally. So here's what's happened. The purple beads have a purple pigment that makes them a little denser than the white beads. And that clear liquid is actually two liquids that don't mix very well. So the purple beads end up floating on very salty water while the white beads end up sinking in very pure alcohol. It's science. <sighs> That's crazy. Put a couple small spoons of sugar, five grams. Add about 150 milliliters, warm water. Now we'll dissolve the sugar in the water. A couple teaspoons of yeast. Just be careful not to get any in the bottle. That's a joke. And then we'll put a balloon on top and we'll see what happens. A little bit of gas in here is from the yeast. That's carbon dioxide. Let's make a pizza. Nice. Let's see how we're doing. It's been a couple hours. Oh yeah. Now we gotta push it down. And let it rise some more. Carry on. All right. Spinach, pecorino romano, olive oil and garlic on this side. Braised onions. Onion. Salmon and creme fraiche on this side. It's going to be pretty good. To the lower rack. That's the kind of thing. We broil it for a little bit. And here's the finished pot. What you want is that burn underneath the table. That's good. It's not magic, people. It's science. When you tie your shoes, use a square bow. This is a square knot. Take a look at that. It's symmetrical. Beautiful. Pulls tight beautifully. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my grandmothers, but this, by long tradition, is called a granny knot. Comes apart. Doesn't hold its shape. So when you tie your shoes, do so with a square bow. One that lies this way across the shoe. And you won't have to double knot. It'll stay tied all day. So if you're going out for the evening, you should tie a square bow here as well. One over the other, pull it back, form a loop, come down from the top, keep your finger there, follow the finger 
with the other loop and then dress the knot. Pull it tight so that it looks nice. My name is Nye, Bill Nye.